And I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we are doing another makeup mystery box. I put all this in quotations because it's not in a box. <laughs> if you're not subscribed already, be sure and hit the subscribe button down below. Become a member of the Banana Peppers squad today. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you also hit the notification bell and select all, and that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. So I think it was about two months ago, I did my last, what was that K Beauty Box subscription called? I don't even remember anymore, but we had so much fun. I used to call it like the world's weirdest subscription box because let's face it, there was a lot of weird stuff in there. I missed that one. May it rest in peace. They don't make it anymore. I don't know why because it was a lot of fun. But in that video, I asked you guys for comments and suggestions if there was another like makeup box or makeup subscription box that you guys would like for me to get an unbox together. And I got a lot of comments from you guys saying that Fenty Beauty was actually doing a makeup makeup mystery box. Now, unfortunately, this is not a subscription thing. That would be absolutely amazing if it was because I don't feel like I've ever gotten a product from Fenty Beauty that I have not loved. Love the matchsticks and the highlighters the most. Particularly, there's like two orange shades and you guys know that I love doing like all orange monochromatic makeup looks. So uh, definitely those are like two of my favorite orange makeup products ever made. I think that the matchstick is in the shade Chili Mango and I don't remember what the other um, highlighter, I think it's like a kilowatt highlighter, but half of it is orange and half of it is like a really pretty pink color and I love them both but I most definitely use the orange. Anyway so you guys said that Fenty Beauty was doing a makeup mystery box and I should buy it and I should try it and so that is what we are doing today. I don't remember well I actually didn't see it I think Dogman actually cut this box open um because you guys know I've been like opening the mail this year and then just like setting it off to the side for a little bit. I didn't really see what the exterior package looked like but I think it was something like a plain brown box that didn't make it like stand out from anything else. So anyway, um, we got four products in here to look at and I haven't like peeked at any of them to see what they are. I do think that they told you what one of the products was going to be, but it's a product I've never tried before. I think it was either an eyeliner or a mascara. So uh, let's just look at this big box right on top because I don't know if this is a highlighter or a palette. Whoa, this is an eyeshadow palette and I've never had one of these. Have you guys? This is the Fenty Beauty Snap Snap Shadows. So that is what the box looks like. And there's six eyeshadow shades in here. I'm not sure if I've ever had a Fenty eyeshadow before, unless it was like a single pan shadow. There seems like there was like a purple one or something at some point I had. So this is the little palette. Oh, six. So there was a bunch of these different palettes and they had different silver numbers on top, right? Wasn't there like a four, a five, a six? I think there was like eight different palettes like this. Correct me if I'm wrong. So this is palette number six and there's also six shades in here and I'm also struggling with just literally how to open it. How do you open this? <gasps> oh, <laughs> just how you open everything. It almost looked like it was gonna slide on the bottom or do you guys see this? It looks like it should like fit onto something or maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know, but I'm very excited for these shades. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. It's like we have some plums, a lot of mattes. This is just a beautiful, it looks like it's gonna be a nice charcoal shade like you could do like an entire eye look just with this one palette up next i do not know what this is gonna be okay maybe this is the product that they said you were gonna get because this is a mascara so this is the full frontal volume lift and curl mascara i am very delighted to hear that uh there are no fibers in this i don't see fibers mentioned anywhere i don't know if i told that story on this channel but like mascara with fibers is like one of the most terrifying products ever. I feel like sometimes like brands are getting sneakier about the fibers in the mascara. Probably most people don't have like a, a death 
fear of fiber laden mascara so maybe they're not being sneaky maybe i don't know i don't know let's take a look at the wand okay so it looks like it's a, a pretty standard bristle like it doesn't look like it's got silicone applicator or anything but instead of the wand being perfectly flat it does look like it's more oval or not not flat it does look flat but like kind of oval. like you know i feel like normally they're like just more uniformly round let's say and this one is more i don't know have you guys tried this i'm about to literally do my makeup now but i wanted to see if i was going to get anything new that i would want to use okay up next it is an eye primer in invisi pink i feel like i'm having a brain fart where i'm like eye primer for a minute just translated as concealer in my mind uh but it's it's a it's for your eyelids it's an eye primer for eyeshadow why is this so difficult for me this is just another product that i've never tested from fenty i think i've had like the primer and the foundation but i've never face primer i should specify this is an eye primer you guys oh my gosh Ooh. oh i don't know why i was smelling i'm like it smells like eye primer um this looks like it is gonna be a luxurious whipped mousse and i personally love when the eye primers are on these sorts of wands which I know is maybe like something stupid for me to say because I feel like some brands stopped selling eye primers like this because it's not as hygienic as just like squeezing something out of a tube. But I've always felt I can just get like a little bit more precision application this way. So you win some, you lose some. Uh, all right, last item already. This is a fly pencil. So this is a long wear pencil eyeliner. Oh my God, you guys, I'm like trying to read. I also feel like I've said Fenty Beauty before every single product unnecessarily. Oh, okay, so this is in the shade Cause I'm Black. So I think that this is just gonna be a standard black eyeliner. And they say that this is a creamy color intense glide smudge resistant water resistant long wear so i think ooh, innovative design it is triangular in shape that is pretty fascinating and so oh yep yeah, it is just like a nice standard it looks like it's a gel or just a traditional eyeliner pencil let's say let's just crank that a little bit so you guys can see but yeah, it's not like a felt tip or a liquid or anything like that. It's cream. And I love to do like the waterline with this type of product. I generally use a gel um, or like a mousse eyeliner for the top if I'm not using like a liquid eyeliner. But I always use this. Sometimes for the inner corner and for the waterline, always for the waterline. I did honestly order this, I think in very late September, but then like the whole month of October, where did all the time go? Um, but yeah, I want to say I paid around $49 for this, but I will definitely plug it in screen. And uh, I think that this is a really good deal because definitely I got a way higher value of products. Like if I would have bought all these products individually, it would have cost a lot more than whatever I paid for this mystery box. I feel like, especially for a brand to put this together as a mystery box, I feel like you really get a good value. And I know that that's been a complaint in years past, like when sometimes these brands that, uh, you know, are in Sephora or Ulta, like occasionally they'll put together a mystery box, but sometimes you feel like they're just trying to like dump extra product or like if they have a lot of stock in one particular item or something, that's like kind of an off color. Like they'll give you like a red eyeliner pencil or something, which I personally would love. If I got a red eyeliner pencil, whew, I'd be in heaven but you know I feel like a lot of times people are just looking to test out a certain brand or they want to get you know a really good value for their dollar and they would probably like to get just a standard black eyeliner I don't know I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions on this kind of stuff down below are you excited for makeup mystery boxes or would you rather just like straight up know what you're buying because I feel like there's you know I don't know there's like an argument for either side
of that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna ask you guys in the comments down below again, because I feel like this was a really amazing suggestion. So thank you to everyone who suggested it. But let me know if you guys have seen, especially with the holidays coming up, I feel like a lot of brands are doing like holiday kits. So let me know in the comments down below, have you seen any makeup value kits that you'd like for me to unbox and test out? Have you seen any other like mystery boxes or any like monthly subscription boxes? Let me know all of you guys' thoughts, comments, and suggestions down below. If you're not already, subscribe. And uh, until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back again very, very soon. Bye.